Hello, and thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Alex Hernst, and I'm a board certified dermatologist. Joining me this evening is Tom Boyke, and he's a radiation oncologist with Genesis Care. So, new skin cancer diagnoses outpace all other skin cancers combined. Skin cancer is incredibly common, with nearly 10,000 people being diagnosed each day. In fact, nearly one out of five people by the age of 70 will be diagnosed with skin cancer. The number one risk factor for skin cancer development is ultraviolet radiation exposure from tanning beds and the sun. Skin cancer development has been linked to fair skin, positive family history, radiation exposure, weakened or suppressed immune system, human papillomavirus, and chemical exposures in the work environment. It should come as no surprise that sunburns represent cellular damage, and each sunburn increases your risk of developing skin cancer. A history of five or more sunburns nearly doubles the risk of developing melanoma, a particularly dangerous form of skin cancer. UV radiation has also been linked to premature aging of the skin, aka wrinkling, and other textural changes. As Dr. Ernst points out, Sun exposure is the number one preventable risk factor for the development of skin cancer. There are things you can do. Uh, seek shade when you're outside. Wear protective clothing. Apply sunscreen, reapply, and reapply again. Be cautious of water, snow, and sand, as these surfaces can reflect the sunlight up towards you. And avoid indoor tanning beds at all costs. So prevention of skin cancer and skin cancer awareness is key. It is recommended that you perform regular skin exams. You may need the assistance of a mirror and or a person that you trust to evaluate the areas on your body that are not easily seen, such as the back and the back of your scalp. Don't forget to look on your feet and even between your toes, even look within your tattoos. It's also helpful to keep a record of your spots using home photos and notify your dermatologist or primary care provider if you notice any changes. So you found a suspicious spot. This is what you talk to your physician about and notice those changes over time. Suspicious spots can be understood better by the A, B, C, D, E's of melanoma. Looking for asymmetry or a border of outline of the lesion uh, where it's shaggy or asymmetric. The lesion or spot could be changing over time. Uh, for example, getting bigger or growing satellite spots. And the diameter or the size of the spot would be bigger than about the uh, eraser on a, a pencil or six millimeters in size. The color could be inconsistent throughout or change, uh, even have areas of ulceration or bleeding. These are the areas to bring to the attention of your dermatologist. If you have developed a worrisome lesion, be sure to contact your dermatologist or primary care physician. A potentially worrisome lesion will warrant a biopsy. Uh, I wanna thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, from myself, Dr. Alex Ernst and Tom Boyke, good night.